So I'm beginning today's project by creating my own art tag, which is about half an inch all the way around bigger than a standard Ranger number no. eight craft tag. So I've just used a bit of corrugated cardboard that was left over for some packaging. And this is a torn out book page from a very old copy of Alice in Wonderland that I'm going to stick over the entire of my art tag. And my apologies if I sound a little bit tinny and a little bit echoey today. It's because I'm recording the soundtrack, the narration for this in my dining room rather than my craft room. So as you can see, I'm using the PVA tacky glue from Anita's. And I'm just going to make um, a nice coverage with the glue all over the tag and then stick it straight down onto my book page, making sure I get the right side up. So now that it's stuck down, I'm just got a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm just making sure that I get it straight, make sure that all of the glue is stuck down. So I'm just pushing it to the edges and I'm happy that it's in the right position on the tag. And when I'm happy that the glue has grabbed sufficiently, I'm going to just trim it out and take off all the excess with a pair of scissors. Now we're all dry, I'm going to take the brushed corduroy distressing from Tim Holtz and Ranger, apply some to my glass craft mat, add a little bit of water, and then I'm going to smoosh the tag all into the ink, making sure that I soak up that lovely colour into the paper on the page. And now I'm happy I've got enough on there. I'm just going to have a quick clean up and then I'm going to bring out my heat gun and just heat set that so it's all nice and dry before moving on to the next step. And that next step is to add a little bit more colour. This time it's the peacock feathers distressing and I'm pretty much going to do the same thing again, but this time just with a few accent and highlight colours using that distressing. And again, to make sure there's no smudges and smearing, I'm just going to heat set it before moving on. So I want to add a little bit more colour to the edges of the tag. So I'm just rubbing that small distressing around the edges. And then I'm going to place it down and then grab a small paintbrush with a little bit of water on. And then I'm going to just activate that water-based ink a little bit just to blend the colour from around the edges into the tag a little bit more. So it just softens those edges and makes it a little bit more cohesive. And once again, to make sure that everything's nice and dry, before we move on to our next step, I'm just going to bring up that heat gun and just give it a nice drying off. Um, before moving on to decorating the back of the tag. So for the back, I'm using this digi sheet that I purchased from the Emerald City Crafts. Uh, I purchased this as a digi download and then printed it on my laser printer. So, which is why you can see a little bit of a shine on there. So all I'm doing is exactly the same thing that I did on the front, just covering the entire tag with that tacky PVA glue. And then I'm going to stick the tag down onto the paper and then I'm going to trim it out with a pair of scissors. Now, before you send me lots of comments asking me why I stuck the tag down right in the middle of the paper, and wasted all the rest of it rather than doing it in the corner it's because I wanted that clock image on the back of my tag so because it's a digi download it's not really wasting it it's not like I've purchased the paper or anything um, or pre-printed paper it is just a digi download so I can just print this again whenever I want to it's not a big issue so it's not really a waste
So once the tag is completely trimmed out and I've tidied up all the edges for the back of the tag, I'm going to start decorating the front. And to do that, I've brought out my Tim Holtz layering stencil. This is the Flourish from Stampers Anonymous. And I'm going to be using the same colored distress inks as I have done already, which is the brush corduroy and the peacock feathers. And I'm just going to layer some of those lovely a flourishy kind of details around the edges of the craft tag. And now I'm just going to do the same thing again, this time with the peacock feather distressing in the two corners that I haven't touched yet. So next I'm going to start preparing my main focal image for the tag, which is a colour illustration from Alice in Wonderland. Now this is one of the original illustrations from the, the first publication. Now I have a whole raft of these illustrations, um, which are now public domain and out of copyright. Um, I've got the whole lot digitally and I don't really know what to do with them yet. So um, I can't decide whether to do a digi download sheet set with them or what. So if you have any suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below the video. So as you can see, all I've done is just roughly torn the illustration out of the center of the sheet, and then I'm just distressing the edges with that brushed corduroy distress ink and a blending foam. So next up, I've had a rake in my ephemera drawer, and I've pulled out some pieces that have been sitting in my stash for quite some time that I want to use to layer up on the craft tag. So all I'm going to do is distress the edges with the scruffing tool and then add some of that distress ink as a bit of aging and foxing on the edges. And then we'll be ready to start assembling the tag by layering up all of the different pieces of ephemera. So all I'm going to do is just to dry assemble everything. So place everything in the layers that I want them to be on the tag before actually gluing them all down. So I'm just going to lay them out how I think I want to put them before I add any glue. So that way I can move them around and jiggle them so that I'm totally happy with the positioning before I actually commit to gluing them down. So next up is my title for the tag, which is simply just the word drink me that I've printed out on my home computer or on my home printer. This is just on the inkjet this time. And all I'm doing is just distressing the edges like I have done with all the other bits of ephemera. And then I'm just going to scruff that up a little bit also. Thank you. 
Now I'm happy with that, I want to layer this onto a smaller tag. So I've pulled out uh, an old craft tag that I have in my stash and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down and create a, a smaller version of this tag. So for that I'm just going to bring out my stamping up paper trimmer, I'm going to trim down the sides, either side of the hole, and then I'm going to just snip off uh, the corners to create another long and thinner tag shape in which I can stick my Drink Me title down onto. But before I stick it down, I want to just add a little bit of ageing, a little bit of colour to that craft tag. So as you can see, I'm just going around the edges with the Distress Inks and then just activating them so they soak into the paper a little bit more. So it's just um, another technique in which you can use your Distress Inks with. So all you do is just edge them and then activate the inks with a little bit of water on a brush and that just helps them settle into the card or into the paper stock. And once you've done that, pretty much they, they're not permanent, but they don't run as much if you get them wet again. Now that my mini tag is dry, I'm just going to glue my Drink Me title piece onto the mini tag that I've created now and then that'll be ready for adding to the main tag itself. So now it's time to start assembling the main tag and actually sticking down all those individual pieces of ephemera in the layers that I've decided. And I'm only going to be using the tacky glue, the PVA glue, to do this. So I'm just going to glue the backs of each one and then start sticking them down in the places that I want. I also will be raising up um, the main focal point of Alice on foam pads, um, but you'll see me do that as and when. I also want to add a few more um, embellishments to the front of the tag that are more in keeping with the Alice in Wonderland theme and for that I found a piece of clock ephemera in my stash that's been sat there for some time so I'm just going to distress the edges and then I'm going to stick it down onto the front of the tag. It already has a foam dot on the back. And before I forget, I just need to punch the hole for my ribbons to go through at the top of the tag. So for that, I'm using a quarter inch hand punch from Stampin' Up. So I'm just faffing with the corners now, and I also want to add a little bit of that distressing around the edges between the two layers of paper that I've stuck down. So just to hide that corrugated cardboard a little. Next up, time to add some more ephemera. This time I found a lot of playing card related ephemera in some happy mail that was sent to me recently by uh, an anonymous donator. All I know is that they have the initial of D. So I found the red crown, which signifies the queen in Alice in Wonderland. I've also found some washi tape with the playing card symbols on them. So you've got the spades and the club symbols and also some washi tape that also has some playing cards on there too. So I'm going to add that to help the symbolism of the Alice in Wonderland theme.
I now want to add some charms and fibers to the, the tag itself. So I found this little cherub charm that I'm just going to stick down over the top of the clock. And then I've got some ribbon and some other fibers that I've got uh, again from that same um, pack of ephemera from D. So I have the black and the red to symbolize the two suits of the playing cards and some gold that I'm also going to mix in there because I have some golden and brass effect charms that I also want to add on those fibers. So I now have to find the end of the ribbon of this gold. So if you spot it before I do, just point it out for me. So now I have all the bits of ribbon and fibres that I need. I've also got my little brass Tibetan charms that I want to use. I'm just going to thread them all and feed them through the hole in the tag and then assemble that top portion um, so that everything sits just right. So the charms that I'm going to be adding are a small clock to signify the white rabbit, there's a teacup and saucer for the Mad Hatter, and there is also a little key that I'm going to add to the Drink Me tag later on, which is the key that was on the other tag that she used to get out of Wonderland. So I'm just trimming off to make sure that all the ribbons and fibres are all the same length and then I can add the final touch of the key to the Drink Me tag and then I'm going to call this tag complete. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this art tag come together. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends because it really does help. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of this video. That's all from me for today. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.